What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's live attack video, Town Hall 12, trying a very interesting and unusual army composition. This base I have hit before, I don't think I made a live attack video on it, as far as I remember, but I have hit this base before, and it's like a second chance of redemption to try to uh, make this work this time. It's going to be very cool. E-drags plus hogs, something I have probably never tried before to be honest. Um, let me break down this base. Just taking a look at it, one thing I noticed right away is you have um, no single infernos, all multis. And then in terms of the air coverage, you have air defenses here and here, but um, all expos are covering air, but they're very far away down by the town hall. As far as I know, there's gonna be Teslas uh, out here. If I remember correctly, that's where the Teslas were. Um, at least some of them, there might be one or two in there. Um, my memory is not fully there on what the base was, and it could be different for this specific part of the base. Um, my plan, based on that, is I want to get some E-drags working in here, because the sweepers aren't in a, they're in an okay position, they're not really covering that angle, and I can neutralize the air defenses, there's really not going to be a whole lot that can hurt my E-dragons. So what my, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop um, a minion here and a minion here and really pray a Tesla is not going to pop and kill it because that could mess me up pretty badly on the funnel there. But I remember last time I did it, I didn't have a, I did the same type of entry, um, but I did not have a problem with that. So I'm going to rely on that. Going to drop in my King um, Super Wall Breaker him in, so uh, he should you know clear this out. Maybe do some work on the enemy king before he dies. Queen is going to do a similar thing. I'm going to drop her like right there, pretty much. Um, let her uh, behind a golem a wizard here. Let her take out these three, and then just step up. And um, she might be able to. She should be able to get these taken out. I'm hoping, and maybe even the defensive queen. I'm going to try to be quick because time could definitely be an issue. So as soon as all that's going, dropping in uh, two E-drags, uh, let them kind of make their way to the middle, um, some test loons, and my slammer with an E-drag in it as well. Let them do their work, uh, rage them up right about here um, as they go through that multi-inferno. And I have a couple freezes to work with, maybe freeze the queen if she's still alive, poison the CC obviously. Um, in case it's like all archers. And then as the E-drags are working, as the eagle's going down, I have I think around 27 hogs or so. Now the last time I attacked this base, I did a very similar entry, uh, or opener rather, which worked out very well. The problem was the kind of back half of the base didn't work out as well. I think I did either Lalo or Miners, it might have been Lalo. Um, this time I'm mixing it up and going with hogs, I think that might be a little more successful. Um, one thing also, I have a clone spell, so a fourth e dragon is going to pop out. Really investing a lot into that, going to try to get the eagle down and maybe even go deeper than that. Um, but as soon as I am able to, we're coming in with the hogs here. Heal spell right like that. Then I'm going to try to have one extra freeze or two extra freezes to um, allow me to freeze the town hall. Um, some hogs to support here, so everything pushes to the town hall. And I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to use the Warden's ability um, and save one more heal spell for whatever is left up, um, whether it's there or out here. But if I need to, I'll just use both heals, then kind of use a later Warden over the Town Hall and get some value on the back end of the Town Hall going down. Um, so anyway, that's the plan, guys. Going to sue the heroes for the air defenses, push the E-drags in with the clone and the rage, and then try to sweep some hogs through the back end. See if it works. Um, I have the super wall breakers, so that's definitely going to make it a lot easier than it otherwise would be because of those multi-infernos guarding the walls there. Make sure I have everything. Looks pretty good to me. Um, Spell-wise and troop-wise, I thought about doing a face cam for this video, but um, just was a little bit too lazy. Maybe I'll bring that back for a few videos at some point. Anyway... Let's see. I think I'm about ready to go here. Um, we are looking at base number eight here. Bad start for us this war, so this would be a nice way to start to turn things around. 
Just gotta make sure I master the first few drops because I wanna do everything as quickly as possible. So once again, um, we're gonna do a minion here, minion there. If something pops, I, who knows what I'll do. Um, <laughs> if something pops, I might be able to get away with, well, the king might still go from there to there even if that's not down. Um, we will see. We will see. I could always throw in a few hogs and a wizard. I don't know. Let's hope nothing pops. <laughs> no Teslas there. Um, okay, so minion, minion, king, golem, queen, wizard. Um, probably super wall break the king in first. Then golem, queen, wizard, super wall break the queen in. Start the E-Drags, I and mean, the E-Drags have to start early, because um, they're not going to be affected by this right away anyway, so might as well get them going early. Okay, that all being said, I think we're... I can almost drop the E-Dragons before anything else. That would be interesting. Um, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's start the attack. Maybe drop the E-Drag there, then it can go up, and... You know, that actually might be what I'll do. Instead of the minions... I'll just drop the E-Drags on the upper end of these two buildings so they'll naturally go up first. I think that's what we'll do. Um, the minions are no longer needed then, so sorry to delay this, but as you can see, attacks sometimes, you know, as you're planning, you see these things. So let's go ahead and just get rid of all the minions in that case. Um, bring one extra loon, one extra goblin. Um, that way I can test for Seeking Air Mines a little better. Um, one for each E-Dragon, then one like up the middle where the Slammer is going. Alright, so we'll do Loon Loon, E-Dragon, E-Dragon, King, Super Wall Breaker, Golem, Queen, S Wizard, Super Wall Breaker. Something like that. Okay, it didn't register. I think I have to gem this finished. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right, loon, loon, e drag. Oh, that one e drag's going the wrong way. That sucks. Oh, and there's a bunch of skelly traps there. That's tough as well. Okay, keep going. Unleash the Hog Riders. See, the King is on the Warden. Use him there. Still got an E drag up. I accidentally did it. I did a heal accidentally, but I'll explain that later. Come on, hoggies. Should have froze that wizard tower. Um, we might have this, guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be a barn burner of an attack. If we hit a giant bomb, a bunch of those hogs are gonna die. Even a small bomb um, took out one of them. But I think we might have this. The king is gonna be almost irrelevant here because um, I don't think he's guarding anything that's still left up. We might have some redemption. This finally might be a three-star, guys, on a live attack. It's been so long, it feels like, since I've actually three-starred um, a live attack video. Maybe I should do Town Hall 11 more if I want to get more three-stars, but um, this would be a good one to get. I think we're going to... Yeah, this... I don't see any way this is not going to triple. 
definitely had some weird things happen, so we will rewatch this for sure. There was some weird stuff with the, and I, my brain only has like so much, so much RAM that it can talk and think through deploying stuff at once. But what I was trying to say was that I, I think I tried to drop a freeze instead of a heal, and a heal was dropped, but it coincidentally was in the right place for a heal to be dropped. Um, I don't know, there was some weird stuff with the spells. Let's just take a look at it and try to make some sense, because I'm still a little... I don't know, I feel like I only saw half of what happened, and I was the one doing the attack. So sometimes it's like that. Let's go through the replay here. So, Tesla farm was up there. Probably a good thing I made that last minute switch, because I think that Tesla would have popped and killed the minions. Great value there, the E-Dragon's getting some good chains. Those Teslas were gone immediately. Unfortunately, um, this one is going to get taken out by the air defense. This one also, I would have liked it to go up towards 12 um, instead of coming in. But it got some good value, you know, made these buildings very, very low. Um, Queen hits all these skeletons, which would honestly have been better if they had hit the king's side because uh, the king, you know, got his job done pretty easily, although he didn't take out the defensive king. Would have liked to have seen that, um, but, you know, the queen with her ability, actually, with the ability, she came in clutch and cleared those three buildings. So she did pretty well, all things considered. Um, Archer Tower, Archer Tower, and the Inferno all going down. So got the nice clone on the E-Dragon, not the Loons. That's what we like to see. Um, takes out the queen. They step up, start to get targeted by the Warden, by the, um, the uh, Tornado. Lots going on there. Um, so it takes a minute. The wizard actually can't, where'd that wizard come from? I think the slammer opened some stuff up as it came through and I dropped the wizard to take out some of these storages so the E-Dragon wouldn't lag back there. Um, and it actually came in there and got some work done on the dragons it looks like, which was uh, clutch. Nice job on the wizard. This one E-Drag getting some nice chain um, onto these expos even. Right there, um, this was, uh, that heal spell I think was meant to be a freeze but uh, it worked out okay. I would have liked to have not healed there and then just used my freezes on the town hall, then used the warden's ability a little earlier because I wanted a heal spell for the back end, like I said. You can see that it's, they're not gonna be covered over that giant bomb. And then this, this freeze, I thought I dropped it once again, but it didn't register. So I went ahead and just dropped it on the warden cannon. But the wizard tower was definitely the move there because when you have a big group of hogs, the wizard tower is the main threat since it's doing that splash damage. And you can see as they hit these small bombs, they slowly start to do some work on these hogs. But there was enough to get the job done. That E-Dragon did go down and did some work on the king, um, which didn't end up mattering anyway because all the buildings there are gone anyway. Glad it worked out though, guys. Um, this, you know, if you see this base, I've seen it twice now, so maybe you guys will see it. You know, this is the move. I would say make a few adjustments to the details of this attack, but by and large, this this looks like it'll get it done, guys. Um, if you see this base in your wars, thanks for watching. Glad to get you guys three star. Maybe you're rooting against me, maybe not, but for those who are rooting for me, uh, happy to to come through here. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.